okay uh, last week we were discussing about uh, uh, properties related to matter right so that is uh, the lesson number 4 right properties related to matter and we discuss about the difference between matter and energy then as a summary i'm telling this right then we'll discuss about the discontinuous nature of liquid solid gas how the discontinuous nature uh, is there so in, in every element so we just learn it is created with small small particles and there is a gap or space between these particles we learn that and then we learn about uh, the status of status and uh, related properties related properties uh, that we can use to identify and distinguish solid liquid and gas so then actually we learn about the physical properties of these substances and so then we learn about the pure substances san shuddha pure substances which made up with uh, like which can which cannot be further divide further decompose further decompose or further divide uh, using a chemical uh, so chemical or physical process that is we learn that that thing we actually define that as element so elements closer to 120 elements in the periodic table uh, these are the discovered elements elements can cannot be elements are unique like elements is the smallest uh, level of substance like we that cannot be this pure substances with definite defined definite sorry defined uh, properties which cannot be further divided by physical or chemical methods so these are known as elements right so example copper and sulfur iron copper mercury lead zinc these are examples these are pure substances as well as under the pure substances these are elements but uh, there is another category of pure substances that is compounds compounds are made up with two or more elements but compounds are made up with two or more elements but the kind is same right that is why called pure substance right compounds are homogeneous homogeneous means same type pure substances pure substances same type again is which two or more elements are chemically combined in a fixed ratio h2o for an example h2o is water and iron and sulfur iron sulfide not only that carbon and oxygen carbon dioxide sodium and chloride sodium chloride glucose calcium carbonate these are some copper sulfate these are some uh, pure substances pure substances but these are compound compound means it's mixed up it's two or more elements so you can see so this water is made up with hydrogen and oxygen carbon dioxide carbon and oxygen calcium carbonate calcium carbon and oxygen sodium hydroxide sodium hydrogen and oxygen so sodium chloride salt sodium and chlorine uh, then copper sulfate actually these are elements elements are also pure uh, under the pure substances these components are also coming under the pure substances then uh, the other category other than the pure substance there is another category that is non pure non pure means it is mixed it is not just single right it is mixed up so that is non pure and uh, so then we learn about the various physical properties like straight and hardness brittleness thermal conductivity electrical conductivity these things we learn and now today in this lesson we have to learn how to test these physical properties how can we test these physical properties right so if if uh, you can remember can you tell me so i'll i'll make it smaller or i'll i'll cover one side no, i'll uh, uh, let me zoom this okay now you cannot see the other side now. so what is last trend? right so what is the so i think you cannot see Oh, right i'm not sure if you can see the other side okay so without looking at the other side can you tell what is this property yes just from the last day lesson 
Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. What is this property? The physical property. Yes. Something is lustre. Lustre means lustre. Yeah. Yes. The first one. Sorry, Pute. Lustre, physical property. Yeah, I'm asking what is lustre? What is the physical property lustre? What happens when something is lustre? Yes. Um, it's. Um... A shiny surface. When, yes, when, when light present, it will shine. Because of the light falling. When light presents, it will shine. Don't look at the book, right? Just remember. I just want to check that you can remember this. When, uh, so you can say when light source is available, when light is uh, reflected, it shines. When light reflected, it shines, right? So that is last. So can you give me an example? So, what is an example? Can you give me an example for last one? Element, which is last one? Yes? Gold, right? So especially these are used to made, like these are used to, uh, used for creating jewelries because of this property. Hardness. Hardness. Yes, what is hardness? Lustre, you know, jewelry has this lustre property. Hardness is? Yes. Uh, difficult to break, breaking into piece, uh, pieces. Uh, yeah, that is also hardness. Anyway, you can, you, it's difficult to stretch. It's difficult to stretch, right? Difficult to stretch. It, it is resistant to stretch. Actually, difficult. It's resistant to stretch, wear and tear. Wear and tear. Again, bad. Give it a name. Nehe. Give it a name. Amarui. Give it amarui. Resistant to wear and tear and resistant to stretch. Purla da amarui. Brittleness. Brittleness. That is easy. Brittleness. So hardness is used mostly um, like iron, or iron like thing. Especially use this iron. It's, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's like crushing. Yeah, brittleness means you can break it into pieces. With a small force, you can break it into pieces like glass. Thermal conductivity. Ability um, to. It's the ability to conduct heat. Yes, in ability, to conduct heat. ability to conduct heat. Ability to conduct heat. Ability to conduct heat. Electrical conductivity. It's the ability to conduct electricity. Ability to conduct electricity. Sonority. 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 Yes. It's a lasting sound. Yeah, it's a lasting sound. It's like echo in sound, right? It's like uh, you can say a bell, echo in sound in a bell, echo in or it is like uh, a lasting, long lasting sound. It's not like this. So when you hit your desk, when you hit the desk, it disappears. But when you hit something like this, there's a copper. If you hit something like that, it will last for some time. You can call that. That is the sonority. Color that you know, color is easy. Color. Um, it's. Sorry, but it's. Uh, it's a um, certain range of uh, visible. 
to the human eye. Yeah, so it's it's basically the rate of visible visual quality, right? Emitting last in sound is like it is sonority and the visible visible like whatever the color visible to us is the color. Then elasticity that you know ability to stretch or ability to pull density. Density. Mass of the volume. Yes. It's mass of the volume. Mass of the volume. Unit volume, yes. Mass of the, you can say mass of the unit volume. Ekaka parima vaka skande. Unit volume kiladama pika nikama volume ne mass of a unit volume. Kereka unit take a gato. Let's say, let's say you have take one liter. So, what is the mass of that one liter? Mass of the unit volume. Right, then malleability. Uh, malleability and ductility. We discussed this uh, in, uh, I think, grade six also. Yes, malleability and ductility. It's, um, it's, it's the capability of oh. being shaped or. Uh, malleability is basically. Uh, you'll be by able to. Fogging. Change the shape, shape without. Yes, you can change the shape. Actually, you can make it so flat. Great. You can make it flat. You can create flat surface. Right, ability. You can like you can uh, you can change the shape. Actually, yes, you can shape it, and uh, you can make it flat mm -hmm. by uh, provide by giving a force. Ductility is basically the ability to uh, make wires without breaking. Ability to make wires. Actually, here ability to make uh, flat surface. Ductility is ability to make wires. The smell is also there. Yeah, expansivity, texture, how you feel, right? So these are some other features that you need to consider. Okay, let me. Okay, here ductility, ability to be drawn into wire here. Malleability, ability to be hammed to sheets. You can make a sheet. Smell, sensation, what you can feel. Expansivity, increase the volume without increasing the mass. Right, volume, you can increase the, uh, especially this is there in uh, mercury. Without increasing the mass, it increases the volume. Texture, how you feel when you touch. Melting point, it's a temperature where, yes, we learn about the melting point, boiling point. Without seeing that, can you see? Melting and boiling point. Yes, sir. Yes, what is melting point? Melting point? Sorry. Yes, the same. Yeah. Sunny, yes. What is melting point? When? Um, it, when a solid uh, becomes? It is a temperature uh, um, which solid or liquid forms in yes, when solid converted to substances liquid. yes in a substance solid converted liquid in this point right the temperature with the substance turned into solid solid to liquid status that is melting point for example ice what is the melting point of ice sorry sir melting point of ice is zero yes zero degrees celsius boiling point Boiling point? 100 Celsius. Yes, 100. That is for the water, right? Water 100 Celsius. That is the point where the liquid. Yes. The temperature which a substance turns from liquid status to the gas status. Right? Gas state. The temperature at which substance turns from liquid status to gaseous state. That is it. Okay, then uh, we learn about the density and... Excuse me, sir. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, um, what is the difference between boiling point and evaporation? Evaporation and? Boiling. Ah, evaporation can happen uh, without reaching the boiling point. So that is the thing, right? Evaporating is basically same thing, right? Same thing that means. So there, that is uh, evaporation is basically 
when a liquid become gas, we call evaporate. Wash for an oil again, liquid gas when I'm gonna begin evaporate kill. Hurry, have a without even without reaching the boiling point, liquid can become gas. Right? That is not because the temperature. That can be due to some other reason like wind. Right? That can be due to some other reason like wind, or that can be due to some other uh, property, maybe dry, uh, the air is dry, therefore. So to feel that, you know, uh, there's a concept called the concept where from the low density, sorry, high density uh, area to low density area, the diffusion happen. So that, that can be reason. And even that can happen in the boiling point too. Boiling point again, not full one. It already adu temperature, not full one. Then gaswala boiling point, take a kilo So think, think about trees. Is it reaching boiling point for the evaporation or this, uh, you know, in the precipitation happens in, uh, in, in the, in leaves, right? Precipitation, if you can remember. So let me show that. If you can remember the concept. Precipitation, sorry. Precipitation, right? So here you can see the precipitation. Sorry, uh, not, uh, not this. Later. Okay, you can see this, right? Here. So let's let's refer to this. Then here you can see evaporation happens. When sunlight is present, evaporation happens. But at that point, that is, so do you think the temperature is 100 Celsius in this surface? Do you think it is 100 Celsius? No. It can happen even before that. It can happen even before that. But it no need to reach 100. But so when the temperature is 100 degrees, it will fully happen. It will fully transform. So this will, fast, this, will, this will transform partially, right? This is not fully transforming. This is partial transform. But when it is, when it reached the boiling point, if you keep it that point for long time or for a considerable time, the full transformation from liquid to gas status will happen. So that is why that is why it is called the boiling point. And uh, here the transpiration. So that is what I wanted to say. Sorry, not precipitation. So it's my wrong, wrong. Uh, precipitation is where uh, like we are this uh, solid become liquid. No? Actually, the transpiration in the trees, do you think it is 100 Celsius when this is trans when this transpiration happened? Do you think? So you know it cannot uh, tolerate that 100 Celsius. That is happening before that. Right? Transpiration temperature. So let's see the transpiration temperature normally. Transpiration temperature. Normally, transpiration happens. So it, uh, tree to tree, it is different. Transpiration temperature. So here, this is a, like this is kind of a measurement taken how the transpiration happen different uh, temp at different temperatures, right? So you have like this. This is like a, this is a graph created uh, to check the transpiration rate. When temperature is going high, definitely the transpiration rate will be high. But when hu humidity goes low, the transpiration rate will be high. With the wind also, the transpiration happens. So all three reasons, transpiration Transpiration is actually a form of uh, evaporation, right? So this, this is also, this leads to evaporation. 
right? This leads to evaporation. But it has few reasons, wind, humidity, temperature. Temperature is only one reason. So both are not same. Both are not same. So what's the difference then? Difference is, yes. What's the difference? The total conversion of the state has happened at the boiling temperature. Okay, so that is the difference. Hope you understand. Okay. Okay. Here actually, so you go to the definition, then also you can see this very well. Here, boiling point. So, okay, let's go to the practicals. Uh, did we discuss this practical last day? No. no right, okay. No. Okay, so let's do that now. And uh, the first activity, you have to take a triple balance uh, beam or triple beam balance. So you have to take this. Uh, I think you know how to operate this, right? Yes. Triple beam balance. So there are three lines. Yeah, you have like so the small mass, uh, medium mass, and heavy mass is there. Right, a small mass, medium mass, and heavy mass is there. Which one you need to move the first? Small one or medium one or heavy one? If you can remember, tell me which one you need to move first to measure the mass. Yes, to measure the mass, what you have to move? Is it the large one, medium one, or the small one? Large one. Large one. First, you have to move the last large one. Islam look way move around. So, so let me show a closer image of this triple the imbalance. Closer image. Okay, you can see this one. Right, this is more clear. Let me share the screen again. Okay, can you see the stream? Yes, sir. Okay, so you can see the corner. Uh, the, and here, these are the three levels. Actually, first you have to move the... It's loading. Okay, you can see. First of all, you have to move this heavy one. So when uh, so this level need to be maintained. When this level goes down, they may pull ahead. Make may pass that. I know. a level like a pull ahead. Let's say you are moving this to thirty, and level goes down. Then what you need to do? What do you need to do now? If you move this right side, then level goes down. Then, if you can remember how we are using this triple beam balance. Or do you need me to remember this? If so, tell me. Hello? Sanidhi, can you remember? मीडियम then first move the heavy then move the medium medium also the same first move the let's say move, first you move this 100 and all you are moving this to 200 and it goes down then move back to 100 and then try to move the medium when you try to move the medium again the same thing will happen this might go down when it go down reverse that action again reverse one by one step and then this will go up 
then move the lightweight finally the lightweight one okay clear if you want i can show yes, you a video yes, if you want i can display you a video wait huh? 